Testing. Is this thing on? I'm going to hope it is. <laughs> My name is Phantom Storm, and I am in the lobby of Insandicraft. Going to make an attempt of a guide. Uh, testing. Is this thing on? This is a small starter guide, I guess you could say, for the server in Sandycraft. Now, I'm in the hub just to show the whole step process. There's the survival, skyblock, and factions. I don't touch these two, at least not yet, but this is a guide for survival. So go here and then choose the one you want. Once you select it, you'll be given a set of armor and some iron tools, I think. There is an NPC here who I have not interacted with, but uh, there are, you'll be in front of four classes to choose from. One being the Magician, the first three levels you'll get Jump Boost, and the next five levels you'll get Luck, and the higher the level, the more levels of XP you need. Next is Sonic, the class I'm currently running, and so far level 6, and I have Speed 6, which doesn't exactly make sense. There's Healer, it's Healer it increases your health every level, up to maximum level 10, so 10 health, and then there's a sash I haven't touched yet, so I'm assuming it gives you a strength boost or something like that. If we do quick, if we quickly do class, I didn't notice you can merge two classes, and they both, both classes need to be. Merge a class, you need to be level 10, and the other one needs to be level 10. So let's go back into here, you'll be, you spawn granted and spawn. Nothing really noticeable here. Other than some crates and the mystery one over there, which has a chance to give you one of these keys. Uh, it's the total monthly votes. I don't see a point in that. Over here is your stats of overall time. Apparently, I, I've only been on for one day. Interesting. And if we do rank up no wait no before that there are so to rank up to get anything higher than you start at snoopy to get up to c civilian or any of that you need to reach the certain milestone being 10 hours of play time and 24 votes for civilian and then it increases and increases up to merchant and you can't mine spawners if you don't have merchant it's a bit weird but that's just how it is. Now, normally you could either do slash wild or go down this path to the first NPC. Quests, which self-explanatory. You do the objective, you get the reward. This is a bit of an older style survival. So you're prompted with a golden shovel claiming and locking containers via signs now it's been a little bit since this been this has I've been in the server this has been last used wow I said that a lot and you can get claim blocks from either just playtime or by claim blocks and each claim block each claim blocks is one dollar I only found that out recently the most unique thing on here that I find other than all the spawners is their custom fishing so let's take a quick look as I can't even I tried searching and I can't find much info about this plug. So this is ignore that. This is a fishing plugin made by Pryo Tempest. Hopefully I said that right. I think it's called Pryo Fishing or whatever. Anyways, you can sell fish every 180. You get a new delivery, which is basically mission for awards. This is the codex to see what type of fish are in what category. You can find certain types of fish only in certain areas. 
the scale is like a mini miniature gambling system the higher you go obviously the more risk but the higher the profit starting from low it's a 70 percent chance of it working and it can go up to 20 percent their base price next is medium 40 percent high is 60 and extreme is 80 but if it fails that could also go 80% down the original price then there's the beach story I don't think is enabled since it's just blank there there are totems but I'm not the level required for this you need to have fishing level 20 i believe and i'm only level 10. i think that's the uh yeah guess while we're in the fishing skills we can talk about it there is better gutting as you can see you get m and trophy and trophy their currency there yeah you can get them from cutting fish catching fish this reduces the cost to make augments which we will get into what those are in a moment totem leader i don't have that because i don't have totems or not then there's some high level ones which Are completely locked. Okay. I guess we should get to uh, talk about the augments. So, here, and you can see all the augments you can make. There's Hotspot, which is what I have. Requires level 10, 50,000. It can go up to level 13, and each of these have a crafting a item requirement to craft. And to make these, you throw all these items into a cauldron that has water in it, and right-click it with fishing rod. If you did it right, the augment or firework should appear. Then you put it in here, and your fishing rod here. You combine, and yeah, then you got an uh, enchant. There are duels like almost every Surreal server little starting area for some food of course an auction house which people sell mending on for like 30 40 thousand and what I haven't seen um, done most of the time a lot is free items now they're just building blocks but it can be really useful if you're using those The port I know the portals are in front of us, but let's just take a look at the worlds. There is the overworld. Its reset time is never. This has been confirmed by the owner on their Discord as well. Its size is about is what it says is thirty thousand by thirty thousand. There's the nether. It resets every six months. Its size unlimited. Not gonna quote on that. I'm just gonna go with what is what it says. The end. Yeah, you know, every, every, nearly every month to keep things fresh. Then there is the resource resource world. This resets every day, along with the next two. Or next one. This is so you don't have to run and destroy the old world as much. You can go in here and mine. For the materials you want and then it will be well as it says brand new the next day and then there's the ultra end which I haven't visited this is an exclusive end world allowed available to all infinity plus ranks
every time you build as well, you get like six keys. And you can shift click the grid I only realized recently to open them all. And it will also give you like three hours of flight, which can be useful. No, actually it's really useful. Now here as well, there is a bit unique. They made it so their links actually tell you how much longer you have till you can vote again. Uh, now for money, I'm not really sure. But I've been going to last warp bla blaze grind blaze grinder for XP and sometimes money since yeah you can sell them. And once you do slash wild of course it'll randomly teleport you. First thing you it might be useful is to have a stick, because with this since the old system, you can see if anyone claimed it. Like here, I claimed it. Obviously. Now. Uh, there is like some things you can possibly farm. Like melons, pumpkins. Not too sure about cactuses. Since it's only 1.5. But I guess if you make it big enough, maybe. Once you get enough XP, you would click here, it would level you up, you would get a perk. Now, I just got lucky with the crates and obtained a mega sword. Really useful. And the only thing I added was mending to almost every single piece, uh, tool I have. Even the fishing rod. Just so I, well, you know. They don't break on me when I need them. And if they do get low, I can always just go to the blaze spawner and just repair them. Now, I'm not really sure what anyone was expecting from this. From this video. Or guide since I'm only as the game says a day in here so I'm not really one to make the a guide but as I said there's like no videos on this I'm a bit puzzled why now there are some things I can't get into like not that uh like, uh, what was it? Just mob disguises, and then there's robots, as you might have saw at the blaze spawner. Oh, she's. You occasionally will get teleported up here, you just have to do it again. So, like, these minions, as far as I know, they're pretty straightforward. This will feed the other minions, as long as it has food. This stores, uh, collects, picks up any nearby things and stores them in a chest, I think. Not too sure what this one does. And I know somewhere there was a slayer. So slayer, feeder, and I think seller. And they have a radius, but again... I don't have access to those just yet. If you look on the AH as well, they are a ridiculous price. Like they can go for 30 millions or higher. I've seen one go for 70. Oh, that's not too, too bad. But still a lot. This is a demo and won't be able to use it after number six that is today that's already expired great trick
now. I know this might be this was a bit short, but I made it the best I could. I don't really know what else I have to cover on here. It's a typical survival, with the addition of the perks of each four classes and the plugin. Now, for a money guide, as I said, I don't know how how it works. I've just gotten lucky with votes, quests, and fishing and saying mobs like the normal the ways you can make it. I don't know any farm designs. I don't know any efficient things. So. Yeah, um, in the future, I will set up a warp to the, my home. Let's see if it stopped raining. Nope, it haven't. Okay, so in the future, I will set a warp and possibly claim all the way to this boat. And maybe a bit behind because I'm going to put a little sign, a wall, where whoever actually visits here, can write their name on it. Now I know I'm not knowing anyone big or anything, but I don't care. It's nice to have put the name on there, see who visited, maybe even see who's around. Be nice if there was a neighboring people that weren't off for over a month. <laughs> who knows? Well, that's about all I can say. The next video will be out eventually. Can't really give it time since I need to fix the wall, but that's for another time. And see you next time. Bye.